Hey, it's Stacy. I'm here with some tips. So today's tip is called the age of majority. It's something that every parent of a child who has a disability especially needs to be aware of. And what it means is that when a child turns 18 in most states, and some states a little bit older, could be 21, um, the child becomes an adult under the law, which means that they make all their own decisions, they hold all their own rights, they're able to um, sign documentation, whether it's medical or educational documentation, and uh, the parent, yes, could still be involved, but it is really the student who holds all of their rights um, to make all the big decisions. And there are some kids that are not really able to make those big decisions because of the nature of their disability. So if that's the case in your family situation, you really need to understand what the limitations are and what your rights are. Kids could end up in all kinds of dilemmas and situations um, that can be quite compromising if, um, if it's not appropriate that they hold their rights. Now, most children will grow up to be adults uh, with or without disabilities that should and could um, maintain their own legal rights. And so for, for those young people, it's totally appropriate for them to hold on to their rights. But for the individuals that have more significant needs, who really need the ongoing assistance of their parents or of a guardian outside of their parents to help them uh, sort of navigate the system, um, you know, you have to look into the transfer of rights. So the transfer of rights can come in the way of uh, a guardianship, full guardianship, uh, guardian advocate. You can also access a power of attorney. Um, so there are different options given to you but it's really important that you know what those are. So you wanna make sure that you understand those rights sooner rather than later. You don't wanna be caught in a situation that is a situation and, and then be thinking about, oh my goodness, why didn't I do this before? So check, I'm gonna put the, um, a website here for those who live in Florida about how you can kind of uh, you know, research to figure out what it is that you need to do in your particular situation. And if you're not in Florida, then just go ahead and do a basic Google search in your state and look for um, guardianships, transfer of rights, age of majority, and you should find something there under your court system in your state. And I really think that that's going to help a lot because knowledge brings strength and strength is what we need.